there. This card is what I called structured steampunk. And if you're a little bit uncomfortable with doing things that are kind of different for you, this is a really good one for you. Um, we'll walk you through the steps and I will tell you what we'll be using. From the Industrial Chic Collection, we have the swirl and it's got all sorts of really cool little cogs and things. We're going to be using a couple of the words from the inspirational word set from our expressions line. Um, the background, and we're just going to be using the outer area there to add, uh, add a little highlight around the edge. And we're going to do the um, typewriter grid alphabet. And we're going to, I'll show you a couple things about this because it's kind of a, a unique die. And if you've missed any of this or you want code numbers, you can just go to the show more button underneath the videos, click on that and it'll bring up all the products that we're using, okay? So first thing I wanna do is cut that alphabet uh, for you. And I've just got a piece of gold pearl card here. I'm gonna pop it into place. And I'm just gonna tape the edge. Oops, there we go. Now I like this die in the fact that it's been designed a couple ways. You get all your letters and numbers. They come out in circles. Just get these off of there. Okay, but you also will get a grid that comes with this. Okay, so you've got a couple of pieces you can use. You can pick out the different pieces from here um, and use them and they are sort of a, a deboss into the the, uh, the letter is, right? But you can also use the grid, which is the way we're going to use it for today's card. So I'll pop these to the side and you can use these for other, other um, projects. But I've got a grid I've already done and I've just backed it with a bit of black card. So what I wanna do is bring back this die and let me just take all the bits out of it. Give it a roll. Clean it out. There we go. Oh, one more. And I'm going to seat it back into that grid. Just give it a wiggle. There we go. And I want to emboss now. And I'll put a little bit of tape on that to make sure it doesn't move. There we go. Wiggle it around. Put that down. Put my tan mat and the blue embossing plate over it. Run that through. So you can hear that it's embossing into that card. And let's move those pieces. So I'm just using it as an entire background. Peel this off. And you can see I've got the lovely alphabet embossed right into that, but it makes a really cute background for your card as well. Okay, so let me put a bit of mounting foam on that. Get it ready. Should do the trick. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna come back to that in a second, and I'm gonna bring in my background, which I've already done a bit of matting and layering, and I'll give you a quick measurement. The overall size on this is seven and a half by eight and a half. And this uh, center section where my topper is going to be is seven inches by five and three quarters, okay? So the first thing I wanna do is add on my swirls. I've cut two of the industrial chic swirls out of black card, and I'm just gonna use a bit of spray glue on these. In fact, let's just hold them with some tweezers. Give that a second to get tacky. I'll spray this one. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna pop these down into the corners of the card, just a little bit off the edge, top and bottom. There we go. Just so you can see those swirls. I'll pop this one up on this corner opposite, about like that. Now I've gone ahead and cut the background piece. Let me just show you. I've just used this outer section and I've cut it in white 
and I've cut it in black and I've done two of these. And what I want to do is just offset that black a bit so that we can use it as a shadow. So we'll add some glue to the background on those. And this one here. There we go. Tidy up. So I'm going to just take one corner and offset it ever so slightly so you can see the black edge, just like a mat there. And do this one. Right down like that. And we're going to use these in this corner. I think I'll go with some glue on these. Hold them into place better. A little bit in the corners here. And since there's so much detail in that, I'll tell you what, I'm going to just give it a little spray as well. Oops. There we go. That should hold it a bit better. Pop that into this corner. I'm just going to leave a little bit of that gold mat showing like that. And up in the exact opposite corner. In fact, let's turn that around. A little bit of the gold mat showing there as well. Peeking out. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my background that we did with the alphabet. I'm going to put that across the top of it. Make sure I'm right side up. There we go. Center that between all of those pieces. Okay. And I've cut a couple of the words. I've got the word discover, and I've doubled this up so it's a little bit stronger. We'll put that into the top part of the card. Get a hold of that. Put that right across between the letters. Get that on there nice and straight. Give it a second. Oops, move it around. You can put a ruler to that if you want to make sure it's nice and straight. And then the word art, I've doubled and made it a little bit stronger. And then I'm going to just bring in a paint pen and let's see if we can go around the edge here, giving that edge a little bit of a gold tip to it. There we go. Try not to smear it. into all those little bits there. There we go. Now on the edge. I'm going to bring in some mounting foam for the back of that. And we will just put it on the letters. Oops. Like that. In fact, I can probably even do this like that. Oops, stay. And this one on the bottom. Put that right down in this corner. There you go. And if you want, you can even, see if I can bring in a little bit of a, a, a line here and just add some of the highlights in the gold to the raised areas on the letters. Just like that. There we go. A little bit more around the edge there. And there you have it, structured steampunk. I think that's really nice. This is a definitely a, sort of a more masculine look, but you know, something different. I think it's nice to be able to show all sorts of different styles. For our videos on our YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.